right, so we got the Beach D18 here. Sorry for the shaky, but I got all the lights on it. These are the LEDs that I added. Here, right there, right there, and then here. That's the light it comes with, it has to do those. So, pretty dark right now, the sun has set. Go fly it. Throttle cut is on, so. Ugh. Sorry for the wind, but that's what it is. not going to reset the timer. Just going to let it count down. I don't think I'll fly for the full 8 minutes. Looks pretty cool though. All right, let's go. I'll come out to the runway. Try to come at us so we can see it. Even without those LEDs and the nacelles, it's still pretty easy to see.
do a really low and slow, see if I can. Not very low, but it's pretty bumpy down here, so. The lower I get, the bumpier it gets. I think I'm going to come in here in a little bit. Much more full throttle than I had been flying, so let's just come on in now. No flaps, too much wind. Too bad, consider I can't see it. There we go. That's it. Last flight of the day, so time to get some pictures, and that's it. Okay, we're gonna do a quick little walk around of the E-Flight Beechcraft D18 with the Guniax RC EDF Creations LED treatment. So, the plane comes stock. These little wingtip lights here, see that there, that light there. It's pretty cool to begin with, but I added a little bit of extra. So you can see the LEDs in the nacelles right here. One there, one here. Then there's an LED spotlight there and a spotlight there. And then this is the light that comes with it right here. I still have some extras I'm going to add. I'll be adding some lights to the tail that will light up the tail. And also put some more beacon type lights in there. But I think it looks pretty cool. Just finished flying it. It was uh, almost pitch black. It's kind of hard to tell with the way that the uh, camera makes things look brighter than it is. But the sun has been down for a while. And it's pretty dark. Just, you know, you can kind of see there. But it adjusts for the light so anyway this thing's a lot of fun fly it on a 4s 5000 pack i'm actually going to fly it on a bigger pack when i get the connector soldered on i'm going to do a 6200 4s flying you know scale i can get probably about 12 13 minutes but when you fly it with a little bit more throttle it uses a little more so i have the timer set for eight minutes with the 6200 though, I'll get quite a bit more time. So this is a really cool plane. You did a good job on this. The AS3X settings are great. I don't need to change anything. Um, elevator is way too sensitive, but it's, you know, you can dial it back. If anybody has questions about how I actually set the uh, throw for the elevator, let me know. But lots more stuff to come with this. I'm enjoying the plane. I can fly it at home too. This is a Livermore flying electrons field 
so I have a huge runway I can fly from. But it's a little windy still, and it is dark. You can kind of see because of those lights on the um, windmills. But anyway, big runway, great facility. Um, I could actually fly this at home, closer to home, uh, some of the local fields there, but this plane's off the ground in about, at most, 10 feet, even with the slow roll onto the throttle. So it's a great plane. Loving it. Took me about a year to get this thing completed and flown, but definitely worth the wait. Loving every minute of it. Pretty cool looking with all these LEDs on it. And once I get the others, it will actually be a night flyer. So stay tuned. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I appreciate all the customers I've had from over the last couple of years. Um, still looking forward to doing lots of more cool stuff. And I appreciate all the support got to keep this hobby awesome. So thank you everybody. And that is it.